we're looking at relational operators in chapter five and these compare values so they're going to have to be some type of number int float double and you have now you see two equal signs that's how you compare values and it says does x have the same value as y not equal is right here and then you got greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to and all these evaluate to what's called a a boolean which is going to be a true or a variable that holds a true or false value we'll look at that a little bit later in 5.7 so we're going to start with the if else statement which is where you're going to see a comparison operator and let's start with this easy one right here just going to copy it and paste it over here so i'm in the middle of a public static void main right, we'll tab this guy well let's we'll do alt shift f all right, of course, if I can't run it now, what's going on? Well, what in the heck is x? That's what's going to tell us. So I can do int x equals 4, and now f6. x is positive. OK. Int x equals negative 4, f6. Nothing came out. Why is that? Because if x is positive, if it's greater than 0, there's a print statement. What happens if x is not greater than zero? Well, there's nothing after this. There's nothing else to do. And it turns out else is that word that you need to use to do if this is not true. And over here, we can paste in an else statement. Copy that. Alt Shift F. It's Control A to select all. Uh, now, the opposite of positive is not odd negative. Uh, there's also a chance x could be 0. Uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. So now it says x is negative because it was negative 4. Same thing if you do some big negative number, uh, x is still negative. Uh, now to test it, you can of course edit the value up here. But let's run back to, I'm going to go to page 44. And that lets us use a scanner. And then in this one, they're doing the next double, which we want to get the next int. And we're going to have to do an import here. Uh, that should solve that. That just put the right there import package. Now I'm going to go next int. missed the double cm, so we'll just call that int x equals, and we'll grab that integer value and then go ahead and run this. Let's do x is greater than or equal to zero, and we can hit f6. And we'll just say enter number. I like to prompt with the uh, colon there, it makes it look really clean, enter a number. 3. Uh, now we're printing out x is positive, but it would be much nicer to do the value of x. So this will concatenate x with that string. And just hit f6 again. Negative 42. Negative 42 is negative. All right. Great. So it's working. Uh, now maybe we want to count 0 separately. Well, if I run it and put in zero, whoops, got to bring the cursor down there. Uh, zero is positive. All right, maybe I want to count zero separately, so we'll just go greater than zero. And what I'm going to do down here is duplicate this, control shift down. But I'm going to add an else into it. So else if means if this is not true, well then try this. And here I'm going to compare x to 0 if x equals 0. Spell out x is 0. And now we put the else at the end. And run this. Enter a number 0. 0 is 0. Fantastic. All right, enter number 9. 9 is positive. Run it again. I'm running with f6. Negative 3 is negative. All right, so this makes sense. This has checks two separate conditions. Uh, now, you want to be a little bit careful, so I delete the else and run it like this, turn number. 
We'll do one. What? So what in the world happened there? Uh, we could run in debug mode, but let's just step through this uh, logically. If that is one greater than zero, sure is. So it printed one is positive. All right. Now there's no else after this. So regardless if this is true or false, the execution continues on to the next line. Is x equal to zero? No, I typed in one, so one's not zero. However, so it skips all this. However, the else clause, it runs this line of code. So by not having the else right here, this is completely separate from this. So at first try this condition, it was true, so it ran this, uh, it is positive. And then separately, well, one is not equal to zero, so it did the else condition right here. So you wanna be very careful about how things are set up. And it's pretty subtle. You just put the word else in there. I wouldn't format it like this normally. Uh, you really should put the else if on one line like that. All right, so there's a little else if right there.